the Otaki Toy Manufacturing Company, or in Japanese, Yugen Geisha Otaki Shishakusho. Otaki was founded in the early 1950s by Masuru Otaki. In 1960, it began making plastic model kits. It made kits of model aircraft, cars, ships, armored vehicles, and locomotives. They occasionally rebox their kits for other companies, such as this 1 to 220 scale Boeing 727 that was reboxed for Paramount. The 1970s are considered their best years for quality, especially in 148 scale kits. Their series of 17 famous aircraft all had good profiles and recessed panel lines. Modelers claimed that they were easy to build and pleasing to the eye when finished. My own local hobby shop had a couple of their willow trainers on display that a local builder had constructed, and they looked great. All model companies were hit hard in the 1970s, in part due to the Arab oil embargo, which not only drove up the price of styrene, but also damaged the American economy. I hate to sound like a chest-beating nationalist, but America was, and still is, the biggest consumer of kit models, so the impact on the kit model industry was international. Additionally, the price of styrene never returned to its pre-embargo prices. Larger companies were usually better positioned to absorb the hit, but this was the slow decline for a lot of smaller companies. In 1975, Otaki reorganized and continued into the 1980s, but they eventually ran into financial hard times. And like many other kit model companies, by 1986 they had ceased operations. They sold their molds to RE, who still has them today, and some of the kits are still in production. Their models included 1 to 144 scale modern jets, 1 to 48 scale airplanes, and military vehicles and the 1 to 50 scale, 1 to 48 scale, and 1 35th scale. They had ships in 1 to 800, 1 to 750, 1 to 600, 400, 350, and 250. Their automobiles were in 1 to 28, 1 to 24, 1 to 16, and 1 to 12, and their rail transport was in 1 to 50. They even did a little bit of science fiction in Mecha, including Atragon. The 1 to 50 scale was something that was popular in Japan. In fact, the Japanese model makers tried to make it the standard, but it fell by the wayside, with the more popular 1 to 48 scale becoming dominant. Well, that's about all I have on Otaki. I hope you enjoyed this brief presentation, and we'll see you next time. Country love, kono michi, zutto yukeba, ano machi ni tsuzuite ru kiga suru.
They occasionally rebox their kits for other companies, such as this 1 to 220 scale Boeing 727 that was reboxed. Damn!